body can still have some movement. You ever see one of those horror movies on TV and they be in the morgue and the body sits up behind them and everybody clears out? <laughs> because a dead body can still have movement. I've been told, I don't know if it's true or not, that if you cut the head off a snake, that snake will still move for a while. Well, I do know because my grandma used to wring the necks of chickens <laughs> that when you wring that neck, that chicken's body will still flop around like it's alive. Amen? Amen. The point I'm trying to make is even though the body is dead, the body can still react. Amen? Amen. Our old man is dead, but it's left behind the body. And I'm not talking about the physical flesh and blood body. I'm talking about that programming in the mind, that flesh, that old way of thinking and doing. That's the body of sin that Paul was talking about. Look at Romans 6 and 6 again. Mm -hmm. Let's look at that again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord be the God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you. Romans 6 and 6. Knowing this, that our old man, that old sin nature, is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed. Why? That henceforth we should not serve sin. So the next step is to destroy that body of sin, which is that old way of thinking. And we do that how? By renewing our mind with the Word of God. Amen. Tearing down those wrong thoughts and those wrong emotions and allowing the Word of God to give us godly thoughts and godly emotions. Amen. Amen. That henceforth we should not serve sin. Amen. From now on, because we are renewing our minds with the word of God, we will not serve sin. Oh, yeah. The good news is that Jesus dealt with that <laughs> sin nature, and in him we have also died to sin. There are a lot of things that may try to rise up in your life, but you just say, uh -uh, I'm dead to that. You know, that enemy, that thought may come to tell you to curse somebody out, you say, I'm dead to that. Amen. Oh, you can smoke a, a cigarette. It won't bother you. I'm dead to that. Mm -hmm. See, when you die to those things, you won't do them. Amen? Amen. 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 You'll be alive to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Knowing this is what changes our lives. Mm -hmm. So many believers don't even know who they are in Christ. They don't know what they have in Christ. They have not read the Word. I tell people, read the red. If you don't read that, just read the red. That's what Christ said. Amen? Amen? They haven't taken time to read the will. Therefore, they don't know what rightfully belongs to them. Mm -hmm. And this, too, will give Satan an advantage over us. Mm -hmm. you got to know the Word. The devil knows the Word. He tried to use it on Jesus. But since Jesus is the Word, the devil didn't stand a chance. Amen? Amen. Amen. How are you going to tell the one that wrote the book what the book says? Amen. That shows you how stupid the devil is. <laughs> Jesus defeated Satan by telling him, it is written. Yeah. And he knows what is written because he wrote it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. This is the same way that we defeat the enemy, yeah. by telling him, it is written. Right. You don't have to tie. It is written to bring all your tithes into the storehouse. Right. You don't have to forgive. It is written that we are to forgive those that despitefully use us and persecute us. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. We have to do what the Word says. We have to confess the Word of God, and then we have to do what the Word of God says. But if you don't know the Word, you can't confess it. Amen? Amen. Amen. And if you don't spend time in the Word, you will be defeated in your circumstances. Amen. To sum it all up, as Paul said, the conclusion of the whole matter is we need to see ourselves dead to sin the same way that Jesus is dead to sin. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? For as he is, so are we in the world. Mm -hmm. Romans 6 and 8 says, Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Verse 11 says, Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed, unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. We are no longer sinners. We have been resurrected to a new life in God. Because of his unconditional love for us, we are no longer sinners, but we have been saved by God's amazing grace. Amen? Amen. 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 Does that bless you? Amen. It blesses me. Amen. Amen. I don't allow people to call me no sinner. Amen. Amen. Because I'm saved by the grace of God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise if you, you may be listening to this CD or you may be uh, 
watching it on the internet and you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, I invite you right now to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior Amen. right now. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Yes. It's that simple. All you have to do is believe. Amen. 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 And if you do that, you will be saved and you will be a child of God. Amen. Amen. Give God some praise. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.